I'm pretty sure this is the first encounter I can hear someone in there. I'm not going in there. You clearly hear a ghost. Oh, it's Roblox. How scary could it be? Oh my crease! Oh my crease! Oh! How's it going, bros? My name is PewDiePie. And today, bros, we're going to get a little bit scary. Spooky, even. We're going to be taking four of Roblox's most scariest, most horrific monsters and redesign them in a spray paint. Two of them will be from Doors, one will be from The Mimic, which are, you know, the two most popular Roblox horror games, and the fourth one will be a completely mystery game that I'm not going to tell you what it is until we get there, so... Yeah. Some more Roblox art slop. Let's play some video games, shall we? We're in the gamosphere. Alright, let's see how the default spray paint servers have been doing without us since the last time we've been here. Yeah. As expected, not a single comprehensible image insight. You already know we're in for a good one. Yo, is that Tyler1? Someone drew a cherry. You'll be seeing me in the pro servers. People are actually drawing pictures and not drawing swastikas or, or wieners. <gasps> oh my crease. It's Sailor Moon Randy Butternubs. That is immaculate. I'm Randy Butternubs. All right, what's the best spot for our first monster? This spot is perfect. It's been etched in destiny that I draw here. Look how green the grass is. You wanna know what else is green? Our first monster, Ambush from Doors. A glowing green alien face. If you see your lights flicker, watch out because this mean and green big alpha daddy could be coming. But before we make any marks in game, we should you know, figure out what we're actually gonna be drawing. Because we are redesigning the characters after all, so what I like to do is make some concept sketches and whatever journal I have laying around, just to make sure I'm exploring the best possible options for the redesign that I'm going for, and you know, to get the creative juices flowing. So you'll see me generally at first just redraw the character design plainly and basically, just to familiarize myself with the character before I make any alterations. And then I get to be creative and play around, see what features I like and incorporate it into the final drawing. Okay, I think I have the general idea of what I'm gonna go for. So for Ambush, since he's just a floating head, I figured the most obvious redesign choice would be giving him a body. But what kind of body is the question? Well, I figure since, you know, he likes to charge in a lot and he goes really fast and he comes in and out, he should probably be jacked, but with like a runner's body. He should be lean, I should say. But he should also have like alien proportions, you know, altered anatomy so that it's more alien than human because he's definitely not human. He looks like he was grown in a test tube. Another feature I thought that would be cool is if I gave him an eye, but made it sideways because his mouth looks like a just a normal monster mouth, but turned sideways. So I figure why not just do the same thing with the eye? And I think it came out great. Before Stefano, after Stefano. Repost if you hate barrels. Mr. B this spot should be fine for our next monster. Speaking of which, our next monster is Hayachi from the Mimic. Her character's pretty simple. She's just some girl who got cursed and became tall and ugly. She kind of looks like Michael Jackson. Okay, time for the concept sketches. As usual, I just redraw her with reference just to familiarize myself with her design. She has a really triangular, angular face, I feel like. And her eyes are like hollowed in, like a Five Nights at Freddy's character. Like her eyes are back in the sockets. I feel like she's really reminiscent of Jeff the Killer. If you weren't a 2013 creepypasta kid, then you just, you just wouldn't understand. I think the only thing you could say I redesigned about her was like her body and her angular pose. In game, she's really stiff and stagnant, but here I made her more ghoul-like, more swirly and fluid, I guess, which I think is more ghostly, I suppose. I was originally intending to give her more black goop coming off of her fingers, but I felt like people would think that's blood and I'd get kicked for drawing inappropriate art, which I wasn't trying to do. At this point, I'm like four hours into recording the video. Oh my crease, he recognizes me. <laughs> well, this is new. Anyway, I think in the end, this is probably one of the worst redesigns I did. I feel like all I did was instead of redesigning her, I just drew her in my style, but I still think it looks cool. Before and after. <gasps> Bro, he gave me fan art. I look cool. He even drew Flea in there. Can you draw me later? It's a little doggy woof woof. That's pretty neat. All right, up next we have another monster from Doors. Ambush's little brother, Rush. He's basically Ambush, but he doesn't really go back and forth as much. Oh, 
So let's sketch him out. This design was really easy to figure out because he's a really simple character. Again, he's just a floating head. For the concept art, all I had to do was make one simple sketch and I figured out what I wanted to do. I figure since he's just downgraded ambush, his body would be a lot more skinny and he'd be a lot less jacked. But then I took that a little bit further and I made him just like a bunch of viney entrails. Kind of an abstract zombie-like figure. And I thought I'd just give him another head, not for any particular reason other than I thought it would look cool. Uh, same thing with the hand. Just thought I'd include that to give him more of a pose than just him being like a stick figure. A pro tip to upgrade a kind of mid drawing to a pretty cool looking drawing, throw in a hand. If you can manage to draw a pretty good looking hand, then it'll make your drawing stick out more I feel like. People will go goo goo ga ga for a well drawn hand. But yeah, he's a pretty simple character, so I gave him a pretty simple redesign. This is how a kelp shake will make you feel. You know, pretty good, pr pretty neat. But add some lean in that bitch and this is how it'll make you feel. Just exceptional. The server is officially Hollow Knight pilled. Silk Song refuses to come out. Time for the final monster redesign. The mystery monster redesign. Who will it be? Well, I'll tell you, it's not really a big deal. It's the intruder. Pretty iconic row monster. He's all black, but with some white eyes and white teeth. Probably the most simplest monster design, but also a pretty effective one, I think. For the concept sketches, I was actually kind of stumped in terms of what I should redesign him with. I tried going for like a skull angle, maybe I could make him more of like a skeleton character, but that wasn't that cool. I just played around with his facial expressions, but didn't really come up with anything I really liked. Overall, I just think that the intruder is so simple that it's hard to really give him a functional redesign that still fits his character. But then, I had an idea. The intruder is an all black and white weird creature. His design defies light. So that leads me to believe he's this extraterrestrial, like a uh, almost eldritch cosmic horror type character. It's almost as if he like channels the darkness of space or like a black hole to look the way he does. So for the final design in game, I just ran with the idea of him manipulating black and white to make whatever shape or form he wants. And I think it worked out. Here's the before and after shot, a pretty cool evolution of his design. Uh, here's the other four designs next to each other. Let me know which one's your favorite. Let me know in the comments if you like this type of video, or if you just flat out prefer avatar drawing videos, or if you like both. If you want to give me suggestions or talk or submit fan art or apply for giveaways, feel free to join my discord. It's linked in the description below. Thanks for watching, brofist, and uh, yeah. Okay, bye. Thank you. I think we should call him Stefano.